the Negro Ninja. <laughs> the Negro Ninja told me to do this. I just randomly seen the DM. I haven't told nobody to send me videos on Instagram, but he did it, and I just randomly seen it. It was crazy. It was divine and religion. Anyways, we're here. We're going to look at all of the, uh, what are these called? The city uniforms for each team. You guys know me. I love designing clothes and stuff like that. And it was extremely hard, like I told you guys, to for me to come up with those jersey designs. So I feel like I can give some good insight here onto how I feel about each one of these uh, jersey designs. Because the thing about jersey designs, before I just get this started, is you have to do something as simple but complex. It sounds easy, but it's actually kind of hard. Because you don't want to have too much going on on the jersey, or then it looks too cluttered. But you can't just make it plain, or it's just not that appealing. So it's a real simple but complex type of thing you got to do. Anyways, we're going to start this video off, see what this is uh, looking like. This video is from, what is this dude's name? Sportslogos.net. Um, I'm, I'm assuming he's just recently made his channel. I don't know. But uh, yeah, go check his channel out. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh, let's get started. The NBA's annual slate of brand new city uniforms is here for And I might mute some of the audio or turn it down because I'm not I think he talks through the whole thing and I'm not trying to listen to I'm not really trying to listen to him talk through the whole thing. The seventy sixers are back in black and you have Ben Simmons to thank or blame for it, depending on your point of view. I kinda of fuck with that. A couple years ago, Simmons tweeted his wish for a return to black and the team responded with a challenge. If you win the rookie of the year, you'll get your wish. We all know what happened after that. The design here is inspired by the head of like Philadelphia's Boathouse Row, as well as a throwback to the old Allen Iverson era from the late 90s. And yes, that is a TTP hidden there in the houses for the team motto of Trust the Process. Milwaukee Bucks as Joe and B came up with that shit. I kind of like that, though. That was kind of cool. Not bad, not bad. Milwaukee. Actually, it's pronounced Milwaukee. I like I like how Milwaukee did a totally different color. Yes, that is one of the origin stories for the. I like how the Bucks always do totally different designs from what their main shit is. You know what I mean? Like when they did that creamy one, it looked totally different from their from their main shit. I like I like I like how they switch it all the way up. The wave is like whatever. They didn't really. There's not really that much going on, but it looks clean. I like the light blue. I personally just like how they made the. Jersey look totally different Chicago from their main colorway. Black and gold in a tribute to the architecture of their city. They should have did like they should have did like the skyline or some shit on the sides. That would have been hard. You know what I mean? Like if they would have did like the Sears Tower or like two main Chicago monuments, one on each side. I think it would have been hard. Right, like I, if they would have did the skyline on the sides, that's not. They didn't really put it on the sides. If they would have put it on the sides, that would have been hard. As the home of rock and roll with this ransom note style jersey this season, and if you look at the Cleveland word mark across the chest, you can see uh, that it's made up of Pink Floyd. That's hard. From the logos of several legendary rock bands and artists over the years. Look at the that's v. hard. That's the V from the David Bowie logo. The D from the Pink Floyd logo. And That's hard. The sides of the it needs it needs it needs a symbol though. It needs something underneath this underneath the Cleveland. Maybe you could have put those on the jersey. I don't know. It just feels a little blank. Feels a little blank. The right to celebrate that a little bit, and the Boston Celtics will do just that with their new city edition uniform, designed to resemble the many, many, many NBA championship banners that hang above the court at TD. This is trash. Take a look at that. The word mark across the chest and the number. This is trash. Like I'm not gonna lie to you. This is pretty style. trash. Very basic. But this is good yeah, this is ass. I could have did better than that. I mean, that's. LA Clippers are going I mean, they could have made they could have based it around the banners and not made it look that plain. That was plain. Clippers that was pretty ass. Now black. The design, just like last year, created in partnership with artist Mr. Cartoon, as well as graffiti artist Royal Dog. Gives me a Nipsey Hussle vibe. I like it. Spirit of LA street culture. The Memphis Grizzlies are honoring a local artist and legend, singer songwriter Isaac Hayes. This is kind of hard. Is black with gold and teal trim. And the Me Memphis always have dope jerseys. Honestly, all of Memphis's jerseys are dope. The, the current blue ones, the throwbacks, these, all of their shit is pretty hard. The Memphis design team is one of the better ones, honestly, in my opinion. Even their logo, I fuck with the logo. Just it's it's all I fuck with, I fuck with the Memphis design team for sure. The Atlanta Hawks will honor the life and work of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Born and raised in Atlanta. 
The Hawks have partnered with the King State Foundation to create this uniform in Infinity Black. I feel like if they couldn't put like a shadow of his of his face or like his hand or like the stage or he gave the speech or just just a little faint drop shadow or some shit behind it, I feel like that shit would have been crazy. But that's hard though. I like it though. It's hard. It's hard though. I like it. I feel like don't the Heat already have something like this? With what they're calling the vice versa jersey. Don't they already have some shit like this? Time to the Miami nightlife of the 1980s and the neon signs that lit up the city downtown. I thought they already had one like this. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. I fuck with it. I just, I thought they already had something like this. First one introduced way back in 2017. Did you know Charlotte, North Carolina? Right, so they just made a different version of the same. I mean, they probably made that back then. That's thanks to the Charlotte Hornets' new mint green city uniforms with gold and granite striping. This pays tribute to both that mint as well as the Carolina Gold Rush. In the I like the symbol on the side of the, on the shorts. On that, theme that shit's hard. Riches and gold. But why granite? Granite's the state rock of the Hornets. I would have maybe, I, I would have maybe put that on the on the logo. I don't know. I would have, I mean, on the, uh, the top of the jersey. The city edition uniform in consecutive seasons. I fuck with it though. Change things up, but not that much. What we have is a simple recoloration of their previous city look. It's now black. They've entered dark mode, as they like to say. Still, it's a tribute to the red rock of the state of Utah. A gradient from yellow to orange. To I fuck with this. Giving way to black of the base of the entire set. I fuck with it. Wondered what you I think I kind of like the first one more. Uniforms from a team's history. But it's not bad. More, the Sacramento Kings are doing just that with their new city edition uniform. It's a trip through the teams beginning with their... 1980s powder yeah, the, 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 the 1980s look way, the way better. 90s, they're all black road 1980s look way better. I honestly like the one last year better. Lettering from even the even that light blue, I feel like, looked a little bit better than that. The new but I like how they constantly change the city edition. I like the theme of how the NBA does that. They change it every like year or two. But yeah, now I like I like the throw, I like the blue better, honestly. Sacramento Kings. The New York Knicks are collaborating with local fashion brand Kith. With these bizarre black, orange, and blue gradient rich. Yeah, these are pretty ass. I, I follow I follow Kip and Runny on, on Instagram, so I've seen this shit already. I don't really like it. I don't know. The shorts are not bad. Your defending champion. Yeah, I don't really like it. Lakers are this is crazy. Lore series this year turning to honor Elgin Baylor, a Hall of Fame small forward. Who played for the Lakers, this is crazy. Starting with the club when they were still in Minnesota way back in the This is crazy. Carrying through These shits are fucking nuts. Season. This uniform is in the same blue and white scheme that the Lakers wore. Yeah, these are nuts. Until 1967 with some silver thrown in. Yeah, the these are nuts. Measure. The Lakers this year honoring the 60th anniversary of their little plane from Minnesota. But to Los Angeles. they knew they weren't going to miss with that colorway. The Orlando Magic are wearing another orange crazy. uniform for their city edition set in 2021. Crazy. The and star these are crazy. The are the back the these are crazy. These are some of my favorite ones, honestly. The 1980s, while also updating the look to include the color orange to represent the bright future of tomorrow. The orange is also a nod to the sunshine. I'm fuck with that. And the citrus industry, both very, very important to the. I'm fuck with that. That's hard. The Dallas Super Mavericks hard. I'm will be with celebrating that. both the 10th anniversary of their 2011 championship. They should have made them more gold with a little bit of white. Whoa, the, them shorts is crazy. Dallas or the What the fuck? Okay, okay, they're in the back. They're in the back. I would have went mainly gold with a little bit of white. That shit would have been not. But the shorts are crazy. These might be the craziest shorts. I don't know. A lot of people have had crazy shorts. I feel like shorts are hard, easier to design, honestly. But yeah, those shorts are crazy. Crazy. If they would have put like a wing or some shit on the back, some, I don't know. Basquiat. It's Brooklyn-born Jean-Michel Basquiat. Mm -hmm. who started out as a these are hard. In the 70s I'm fucking with these. Very successful I'm fucking with these. This is what I mean. Simple but complex. Simple, but there's a lot going on. When you really take a deep look and look at all of the different... There's a lot going on in this. I fuck with these. These are some of my favorites. I, honestly, the last three. The Orlando, the, the fucking last four. Shit. They're in the bag. These are kind of hard. <laughs> Much in order! Nah, these are hard though. I'm fucking with this. I'm fucking with this. The Denver Nuggets originally wore a skyline across their jersey in a multicolored, almost rainbow like style. Mm -hmm. 
back in the the dark blue ones were crazier the dark blue ones with the rainbow look crazier but those are like their normal shits or something now right i don't know or, or were those that see from last year these are hard though i like it i like i like to switch up i like to switch up indiana pacers will be throwing back trash. their city uniform design to something very much inspired by what they used to wear yeah, trash. in the late trash. 90s to around 2006 or so. Yeah, is a trash. Uniform with These are trash. Stripes, but I mean, what do you expect side. from Indiana? Uniform, just like yeah, no, I'm off that. NBA but yeah, no, nah, these are, I don't know. And I think it's safe to say. These don't do it for me. Proud of this one. Nah, they should have did a darker blue. Pelicans the blue's too light. To trash. And straight up putting the flag of New Orleans right across the entire uniform. That's three horizontal bands of red, white, and blue, and three gold fleur de lis across the chest. While the jersey has a blue stripe at the bottom, this won't be seen during gameplay. It'll be tucked into the shorts, but the shorts have their own blue stripe at the very bottom of each leg, completing the overall flag look. The Detroit Pistons. Are Those are all right. Go right. I don't love them. History. I don't hate them. These are pretty trash. I mean, but I, I mean, do we expect Detroit to have some raw ones? Not really. I just don't like when they when they make it too much similar to the main jersey. It's like, bro, that's kind of defeating the whole purpose. I feel like you should get more creative than that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I like the I like the teams that don't just do the same colorway. Like, it's it's too expected. It's not a it's not a big enough leap forward for me. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. The Celtics is probably the worst, though. Honestly, once again, working with Drake, the Celtics was like they didn't even do shit. Inspired by the color scheme of his OVO fashion brand. Crazy. Uniform features crazy across the chest and, and by crazy I mean Drake's crazy for getting his own city uniform jerseys. These are whatever These are whatever I honestly like the Mavs ones. I like the Dallas ones better. I think I think they should, their gold theme was way harder These are hot though. I mean they're hot. It's gonna look good on OVO court and shit It's all gonna come together. It's gonna look it's gonna look lit They should have did like an owl or some shit put OVO in there I don't know. It's just a little too plain for me. Just a little too plain. They should have did a little something a little something to their franchise they're going with a light blue you can't miss with the baby blue man you see I you see I got the jersey it's hard to the baby blue that shit just hit blue on it light blue for all y'all light blue on the jersey that should just be hit it just hit it just hits it just hits yeah it just hits there's a lot of blue jerseys though there's too many teams with blue jerseys that's like the fourth one we've seen there's too many that's too many I kind of like it much needed life into a black and silver logo. still not not a big enough leap I feel like wore these colors on their uniforms back in the day not a big enough leap from them from the from the main ship but a, a, a bigger leap than the Pistons not a huge leap but bigger than the Pistons I mean not bad I kind of like it it's not bad these are crazy for their city uniform this year instead choosing to honor the this is a bigger leap Still not a huge. They didn't go all the way new color scheme. Uniform is black. But I like the, the valley on that. It's tough. Tough. Tough Phoenix. Tough. Super tough. I'm fucking with that. That's tough. Yeah, that's pretty tough. That's pretty tough. It's a celebration of the state of That's pretty tough. For the Thunder, who will be wearing these blue, orange, and black diagonally striped uniforms this season. Oklahoma is written across the front. Okay, see, always always has pretty decent jerseys. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not a huge lead, but not bad. And unite. Not bad. We've seen worse. We've seen better. We've seen worse. You know what I mean? We've seen better. Seen worse. You know what I mean? I love their logo. The little love shit. That shit look hard. Minnesota is known as the North Star State, and that's how they're all hockey teams. I feel like we've seen this before. And these new Timberwolves. I feel like the Timberwolves could have went crazier than this. They could have went crazier. Timberwolves, y'all could have went crazy. Y'all could have went crazy. Several white stars. Yeah, I think y'all could have went crazy with this. Didn't you have like an all green last year or something, right? I feel like y'all went crazy last year. I don't know. Maybe that's why you didn't go as crazy this year. I can't remember. I wish you would show the ones from last year. Celebrating the spirit of Oregon, the beauty of its land. Is that like a brown? As the tribal nations who have called it their home since the beginning. Uniforms are black with Oregon scripted across the front directly Look, from the sun. Looks brown to me. Shines in Old Town Portland. But yeah, that's decent. A topographic map makes up the base of the jersey, and a series of colorful stripes representing the colors of a sunset over the mountains run up the side. A portion of the net proceeds from jersey sales will be donated to the Native American Youth and Family Center by both the Trailblazers and by Oregon. That's hard. I fuck with that. Well, despite the fact that they now play in San Francisco, the Golden State Warriors are showing their fans from across the bay that they haven't forgotten about them with the nice. brand new Oakland Forever uniforms. 
The jerseys used the old Warriors uniform style worn back in the early 2000s. So they went with that. That was smart to do an Oakland thing. God hurling a lightning bolt. And yes, it was a case. 2006 was crazy. Was crazier though. Warriors played in Oakland for nearly 50 I don't like the top. I don't like that. I don't like the lines on the top. They could have maybe did something cooler right there. Not bad though. Not bad though. Not bad. Washington Wizards and a disappointing This video is lit. I'm glad I watched this shit. This video is lit. This is dope. I fuck with this. I fuck with this. And the stars and stripes pattern up either side of both the jersey and the shorts. Yeah, not bad. There it is. Not bad. And that does it. All right. Well, you guys can let me know in the comments what your favorite one is, what your favorite ones are, who could have went a little bit crazier. I really like the Mavs ones. That shit is great. The production, the way they did the little lines, it, it, it all just looks great. Um, I like the magic ones. The magic ones are crazy. The grizzly ones are crazy. The nuggets ones are crazy. There were a lot of crazy ones in here. The Laker ones, I think they should have did. They should have went all baby blue with a little bit of ice. With a little bit of ice. So if they would have did like a Nipsey, if they would have did like that Crenshaw that Nipsey, or did they did they actually do that last year? Because LeBron had that all right. I can't even I can't even remember. But I still like I still like the baby blue though. It's hard. It's hard. I probably won't cop it, but it's hard. It's hard. I like it. Um, even the Hornets ones. The Hornets ones were there were there were, there were a lot of crazy ones. There were a lot of crazy ones. Um, so yeah, that's what I mean by like simple but complex. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing shit like this. We were able to tie NBA in the design, which rarely happens, but. I'm fucking with it. I hope I gave, gave you guys some good info. Um, that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you haven't already, please be sure to go follow your boy on uh, Facebook. Once once these shoutouts and me doing it and shit, it gets me to like 50K, then I'll stop bringing it up. But I'm, I'm thinking in my head, like, all right, if I can just... If I can just get my gang, if I can just get OSN Nation, you know what I mean? They don't give me the 50, you know what I'm saying? Then I can do the rest of it, you know what I mean? So, anyways, I really I really do appreciate all y'all that follow me. If you haven't already, please do. Um, it really helps me a lot. Um, we're going to be doing giveaways and shit on there. And, yeah, man, it's going to do it for this video. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you're new. I'll leave a link to uh, sportslogos.net in the description. You can go check his channel out. Tell him uh, Oprah sent you. OSN sent you. Clark sent you. And that's going to do it, man. I'm out of here, man. Peace. <laughs>